Well, you know, our, our stance has always been very clear. We want frictionless trade, we want uh, no tariffs, and of course we want the same customs kind of arrangement uh, and tariff and rule book. Uh, what we see now is that if there's going to be a hard Brexit, the short-term problem we would face is logistics. We run our operations on just in time. If there would be any disruptions, we'll have to close our plant uh, temporarily to, to make alternative arrangements and to get parts. In the longer term, if we need to change the logistics system, we need to add more cost to the system, it will impact on our competitiveness. And that, of course, will have an impact on the future of our operations. Yeah, are you thinking of building up other production facilities on the continent or in continental Europe? No, at the moment we do not have such uh, plans. Already we do have uh, eight uh, manufacturing facilities in, in Europe. Uh, so, but we, there's no such plans. What we are focusing on at the moment is how to really improve the competitiveness of our operations in uh, the UK. We've invested in them to upgrade the technology to ensure that we are competitive as possible. We believe in our people there, but we are concerned that in the long term, if there is a bad Brexit, that it will have an impact on the future of our operations. Okay, but you only are going to decide on what you're actually really going to do in the midterm after perhaps the, the Brexit day? Or? Yes, that is the thing. You know, we need to know um, what are we going to change to. And uh, by March next year, uh, there's a bridging period, but that bridging period should be utilized to change everything to be ready when we really go into the Brexit. So that must be clear so that we can start doing. There's a short space of time to really change everything. So uh, we still hope that there will be an agreement and that we will have uh, frictionless trade and that we will be able to trade with Europe. Europe is the most important market for our operations in the UK. 90% of what we produce there, 600 vehicles a day, gets exported to Europe. Uh, let's talk about another area of the world where trade uh, is very important or trade into is very important. That's the North American uh, yeah, space. We got a new trade agreement here. How do you reflect on that new North American trade deal? Well, you know, from a Toyota point of view, we are very pleased that there is now an agreement uh, between America, Mexico and Canada, a new agreement and uh, that we hope that this will also now pave the way to stop uh, this type of trade embargoes or activities which were going on. Uh, so the detail of that we'll now have to see how it's going to uh, unpack, uh, but we welcome this agreement. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.